Hey guys, I uh, whew, I can't believe I'm gonna try to film this outside today because it's freaking hot. But um, I really wanted to do a haul video. I had there's some things that I bought like last month that I wanted to show you, and <clears throat> also I bought some really awesome things this past weekend, and I could not wait to show you. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the stuff that I got from Sephora. So. First I got, stop, Sammy's trying to eat my haul, stop it, I'm going to make you go into auto room. Um, so first I just got this lipstick that, <laughs> they're going to my lap now, um, I got this lipstick that's from just the regular Sephora makeup line, and it's, um, oh crap, I don't like, one thing I don't like about these is they don't say the name or even the line it's in anywhere on the packaging. So I had to save the wrapper to tell you. It's from the Rouge Shine line, and it's number three, Tenderness. So these are like glossy lipsticks. This is a shade. I can't ever show you a lipstick that hasn't been used already because I always use lipsticks like as soon as I get them. So that's what that looks like. Just a really nice nude. I will say I don't like the taste of these. It's kind of plasticky, but oh well. They can't all be winners. Um, and I do like the uh, the color and the glossiness of it. Um, the next thing is, this is so random, this packaging is kind of cheesy, but I like cheesy so it works for me. It's by, it's Sephora by Isaac, which is a little weird for me because my ex-boyfriend's name is Zach with a K. So I was like, oh, I don't know. But how freaking cute is this? There, there are two little tiny lipsticks in here. This is just like a coral. And to get them out, you just, you push from the other side. And then this is like a nude pink. And I'm gonna show you, so that's the pink one swatched. And the pink was a little too dark for my liking. And the coral, was a little too dark, but when I blend them together, they're like the perfect color. So, and this was like $15, I think, so it wasn't very expensive. And the name of this is um, Satin Kiss Twin Lipstick, and this is the, this is called With Love, is this duo. So there were three different duos, I think, but this was the one that was most up my alley. So there's that, and then, Oh, I also got this um, BB Bumble and Bumble um, tonic lotion. It's a spray bottle. And what you're supposed to do, I have, um, my scalp gets really itchy sometimes at night. Like, I wash my hair every day, but still at night sometimes it gets itchy. And it says that you are supposed to spray it on your scalp, kind of rub it in and it tingles. It smells really, like, menthol-y too, and I really like it. So this was like a mini size, so it was only $7 too, so a lot cheaper than the full size especially when you just want to try something. My favorite thing that I got though, going kind of fast, there's so much to show you, um, is this Laura Mercier cream lip color in rose quartz. This is a Sephora exclusive. And when I saw this, I like flipped out. It is so perfect. I'm wearing it today. <laughs> um, I'll swatch it too. But that's it right there. Um, it's freaking beautiful. I saw it on the display. Seriously? Helicopter? Um, so I saw it on this display and it was like a Sephora limited edition collection, like a Sephora exclusive. And, um, there were a couple of baked eyeshadows, which I wasn't interested in. There was like a luminizer, like a shimmer block that I actually really liked, and I don't usually like shimmer blocks, but it didn't have any bronze shades or anything, and it just swatched really nice. I think it would make a really nice highlighter, but um, I didn't get that. And they also had a caviar stick in the color Sterling, which was like a silvery white, and it was so pretty, and that's the one thing that I really regret not getting. I wish that I would have picked that up. I'm probably going to end up getting it at some point. But this lipstick, I mean, I grabbed it before I even swatched it, and it was the only one left, so I'm glad I did. But, um, oh my god, it's so hot. 
I think I'm gonna lose my scarf. Yeah, losing the scarf. It's too freaking hot. Um, shoop, in the bag. Um, okay, and I also, oh, I forgot. I also got a sample of the Hourglass Illusion Tinted Moisturizer, and I'm glad I got a sample because it is freaking like glitter on your face. So, not sure I'm, I could recommend that. But, um, next I will show you. Oh, and I also got one of the 100 point perks. I have so many points racked up, but um, there hasn't been a 500 point gift that I've really wanted in a long time. So, I've just been building them up. But they did have this Origins Ginseng eye cream that I've been wanting to try for a really long time. So, I got that. And this was also the last one they had. They actually pulled it off the display for me. So, I had good timing on, at Sephora the other day. Um, so the next things I will show you are what I got from Aldo. And um, it's the Aldo Accessory Store, which is probably my favorite place to buy accessories aside from like Target. I got these earrings. They're just like a mint green with gold. These were $8. And I got this necklace which is just like a collar necklace. It's in slipper print and gold. I thought this was really pretty. This was $25, but I'm getting to a, a point at the end of this. And then I also got this wallet, which is just a mint green. It has this cute little detail on the zipper. And I love it has so many pockets and there's two like ID pockets. It smells decent has gold, de gold uh, hardware. Um, and this was $25 also. But the thing is, they were having a promotional thing where if you buy three accessories, you get 20% off each of them. So for all three things, it ended up being like $49, with, that's including tax. So not too bad. So I felt like tempted to buy three things just because of that deal. But I love the stuff they sell there. Speaking of accessories, I had a Charming Charlie gift card that is from Christmas <laughs> that I had not used yet. And I went in just because I felt I was in an accessories mood. And I found this. Sammy was just chewing on this a second ago. Um, I found this bag, which is a total Rebecca Minkoff like knockoff. It's the same size and everything. It has the same kind of strap. It's gold detailing and it's like a minty blue. I mean, it basically called my name. And the best part was it was $29.97 and my gift card was for $25. So I ended up spending about $5 on this bag. So I love it. It's so pretty. This is one of my favorite things from the whole weekend. So exciting. Love that. Um, I guess I'll show you this too while I'm on the subject of bags. I also got this bag. This is not from Charming Charlie, this is from Zara, and I bought it from their website because I've never seen it in their store. But I've seen so many people um, talk about this in videos and in blogs, and um, it's only $35.90. And I love that it's just like gray with uh, rose gold detail. And I really wanted a bag that was lightweight, that I could carry to work, and it was work appropriate because as you see I like a lot of colors and flashy type things that aren't really work appropriate and um, I need to be able to carry my lunch, an umbrella, um, a book, you know, I need to carry a lot of things in my bag to work so I thought this was really good for that. But yeah, this is really cute. But I got it from the, their website like I said and I think it was like when, with the, the shipping was free got to me really fast so recommend the only thing is is it wasn't wrapped or anything in the box I'll say that it was just like loose in, in the box so I didn't really like that but um anyways okay oh my god it's so hot you guys I hate Florida today but I couldn't film yesterday because it was raining half the day so oh well next time I gotta try to film inside maybe I'll take this table inside or something but oh my god my legs are like wet this is really disgusting but um Okay, I'll show you nail polish next because I have several. I'm addicted to nail polish right now. There's like so many amazing colors out. First, I got this one that I'm wearing. I got this at Target. 
This is Essie Bikini Sotini. And it is such a perfect periwinkle blue. I've never seen a color like this, ever. So, love it. I mean, and a nail polish. Um, I also got, you saw this in my last video, Butter London Slapper, which is really pretty. I got Chanel Delight, which I also wore in my last video. Really pretty. I'm wearing that on my toes right now, too. And I got this MAC one, which is Myth. I don't like the lipstick, but I like the nail polish. I haven't worn it yet, though. I've just swatched it, but it's, it's really pretty. MAC uh, nail polishes are underrated, in my opinion. But, um, I mean, they have some bad ones, but they have a lot of good ones, too. And then I also, um, I got this top coat, which is the Sally Hansen Mega Shine. And, thank you, Jesus, I like this one. I actually, I was looking in Target for Essie Good To Go, because they stocked that there, too. It was sold out. I'm like, are you kidding me? So the Sally Hansen ones were right there, too, and I just grabbed that. And I do like it. So, um, I also got from that MAC collection, fashion sets or whatever. I got this lipstick in Razzle Dazzler, which <laughs> my lipsticks all look the same on my hand. This is this one. I don't know why I keep buying, it's a luster finish, which is my favorite MAC um, formula. But I don't know why I'm constantly buying MAC lipsticks because they're the ones that I reach for the least often. And I think I have more of them than any other because they're just so inexpensive. But, um, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I guess continuing with drugstore things. I got this like over a month ago, but I never showed it to you and I thought I should because I really like it. It's, um, a sunscreen and it's a spray lotion sunscreen, which is kind of unique to me. But, um, it's called the L'Oreal Sublime Sun SPF 50. I always wear SPF 50. Um, my camera's doing something weird, sorry. Um, it's the Hydro Lotion Spray. And it sprays like, well that was a pain in the butt. So um, I ran out of space in my camera and I had to transfer the file to my computer. And then, so I would have space because I had deleted everything else off my camera. So clearly this is a long video. And I'm just filming it in my bedroom because it was freaking hot outside. So I know this isn't as good of lighting, but um, it's also a mess in here because I wasn't planning on shooting. You see, like, my cat's toys everywhere. But, um, anyways, I, uh, was talking about this sunscreen. It's really nice because it's like a lotion, so you can, you feel like you can skip a step by, like, moisturizing. It basically moisturizes your skin, too. So, and it just has that really nice, like, sunscreen smell. Um, it's really quick, so it's good for days when I just want to. Um, that was nice. I had to piece of cat for just sticking between my fingers. <laughs> Sexy. Um, but uh, it's good for when you just, you know, want to grab it and go. It's really quick. So, like that. Um, it was like $10, I think, and I had a $2 off coupon, so very nice. Totally random. I ran out of my L'Occitane Almond Shower Oil, which is like my baby, and I love it, and I, I'm gonna probably end up repurchasing it. But, um, I was reading a blog post, can't remember where, about Barbasol and how it's actually really a great shaving cream and it was like a dollar something at Target and um, I do actually really like it. They didn't have the original one, which is the one the blog post was about, but they had the, um, it's called Barbasol Beard Buster, <laughs> so it's really sexy being in a, a woman's shower, but um, it's the soothing aloe version. But one thing with this is with the L'Occitane shower oil, I was you, you could get away with using such a small amount and it really spreads. With this, you need to use a lot, and which is fine because it's kind of fun. I like like foams and stuff and it's fun to use. It smells nice. It's not too masculine, which I wouldn't mind if it was. I like masculine scents, but um, it's really nice for shaving. So don't buy into all the girly packaging and all that stuff. Get the cheap stuff. It works just as well. So, um... If it can cut through a beard, it can cut through your leg hair, basically. Gross. Um, another like shower type thing. I restocked up on my Lush Dark Angels. This is like the best facial exfoliator ever. I love this stuff. No one ever talks about it, but it is so awesome. It's basically like if you've tried the MAC Volcanic Ash ex exfoliator. It's like that, but I think this is better. Um, 
you just what I do you can see it's kind of weird <laughs> it looks like poop basically but um, you just take a small amount a really small amount put it in your hand and I, I can't use it in the sink it's way too messy you have to use it in the shower but um just add a little water to it kind of rub it together with your fingers and your hands and then put it on your face rinse it off and it's really great for like um, if you have acne or it feels really good it smells nice um, yeah good stuff one thing I will say they usually have this like prepackaged in the store in like $20 amounts I always ask if they can give me about $10 worth because this will last me over a month and um, that's like if I'm using it almost every day so a little goes a long way and you don't need to buy the prepackaged version always ask for your own amount like whatever you want unless you want $20 worth um, last kind of skincare thing again bought into the hype and got the origins drink up intensive overnight mask which they are not kidding blogs I've read it smells amazing it smells like mango body butter <laughs> which made me really nervous because I was kind of sensitive skin but um and I also was nervous when I put it on my face and it felt kind of sticky it's like oh my god this is gonna break me out I'm terrified but it did not break me out and actually the morning after my skin felt really soft it didn't feel sticky anymore so it really did drink it up the um the mask and I've used it twice already it did not hasn't broken me out so yeah this is good stuff and if you like things that smell good and you don't have even if you have sensitive skin though it might not break you out because it didn't for me but um but yeah so I like that and then um oh I was gonna show you I got this watch from um Target I know it's upside down but it's not even the right time I'm so bad about changing times on my watches um but this was just like a minty green watch and it's a wrap one and it actually fits twice around my wrist I can't believe it I have giant wrists um this bracelet's from J. Crew. I talked about it in my favorites video I think but um it was only ten dollars this watch and it's so freaking cute I just really wanted a mint green watch as you could tell from like the accessories and stuff that I bought too I think mint green's my favorite color I have more nail polishes in that color than any other color and stuff yeah last thing I want to show you I'm such a rambler today are these Revlon kissable balm stains this is precious and this one is charm they're basically like the Clinique chubby sticks or the Tarte whatever they're called I don't have either of those so I can't really compare them but um I did put lip swatches up on um, Instagram this is charm and this is precious they are super pigmented they're kind of minty so if you don't like that might avoid it um, I kind of noticed I don't know if it was just because my lips were kind of sensitive last night or what but the charm one kind of stung my lips last night so I'll give it another shot because this is this color is like it's what I wanted creamsicle to be of the lip butters but creamsicle is just a little bit I don't know chalky on me I guess I liked it at first but now I've kind of grown out of it but oh my god the more I look at these the more I love them <laughs> but both of these are these colors are so me and I have to thank um, sh her name is shoe addict 79 on Instagram her name's Melissa I can't remember her um, name on Twitter she's not on YouTube it's like Melissa something one two three four I'll put it in the info bar but she was so nice I had said something on um, Twitter about how I couldn't wait to get my hands on some of these and these were the two shades that I mentioned and I'd actually talked to my friend Danielle um, Bloom and Beauty and was asking her like if she could check for him the next time like she was at Walgreens I didn't want her to go out of her way or anything and she'd gone to a bunch of different Walgreens and she hadn't seen them and I'd been hunting too and I hadn't found them so I was just feeling like whatever I guess it's not gonna happen <laughs> so um but then I got this message from Melissa who I'd never even spoken to before she asked me if um that she told me that she'd seen them in her Walgreens and asked me if I wanted her to pick them up for me and I was like yes sure please give me your PayPal information I'll PayPal you the money um, to ship them to me and everything and um, she grabbed these two colors for me and she told me she got five for herself too so <clears throat> sorry if I kind of encouraged that <laughs> but um, she's so I got the package from her yesterday with these and she'd also sent me two other Revlon lipsticks and like a still a lip glaze set I was like why are people so nice I just was like 
after that package from Michelle too. I'm just like, people just overwhelm me with their kindness. It's just crazy. So I sent her a message and thanked her and, um, but yeah, so nice. I just couldn't believe it. So thank you, Melissa, if you're watching this and, uh, I guess that's it. You can tell how hot it was. You can see my sweat glands in my face. Really nice. But, um, <coughs> sexy. I told you I, why do I keep saying sexy? Oh, um, I told you I was going to cough in my last video and I didn't. And now I'm coughing all over the place in this one. Oh, uh, well, but, um, okay. So, uh, no outfit of the day because I'm just wearing a white t-shirt, but, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and listening to all my rambling. I love you guys. I'm so excited to be making videos again. And uh, I hope you're having a great week. I'll see you soon. Bye!